This week on Maker Update, flipping switches, free boards for PyCon, shields, swords, robot music, purple rovers, LED legs, neon bikes, LiDAR for dogs, and a look at Pi Portal. Hey everyone, I'm Donald Bell and welcome to another Adafruit edition of Maker Update. I hope everyone's doing well. I have a lot of projects and tips to cover, so let's get started with my pick for the project of the month. Check out this Bluetooth controlled light switcher by John Park. This is great if you've ever wanted to remotely control a light switch without the risk of working with electrical wiring and relays. John's hack here is to mount a servo to his light switch along with an Adafruit Feather NRF52840 Express and a Cricut Featherwing. The Feather communicates over Bluetooth to the Adafruit Bluefruit app and the Cricut handles moving the servo up and down. There's a lot to love about this project. It's something practical that anyone can use and the 3D printed mount is really clever. But what puts it over the top for me project wise is that John has a workshop video on it where he goes over every aspect of the project and goes through the CircuitPython code that makes it all work. The only drawback to this project is that it's kind of expensive for what it is. It's using around $60 worth of components which are arguably overkill for switching a light. That said, there's so much potential here for taking this further. That Cricut board can power NeoPixels, respond to capacitive touch, play sound, drive actuators and motors. What John's really given us here is a template for remotely activating an entire funhouse of stuff, so don't limit yourself. It's time for some news. Adafruit and DigiKey are teaming up to give a free special edition Circuit Playground Express board to every attendee of PyCon. This is an event that takes place May 1st through the 9th in Cleveland, Ohio, and it's a gathering of the Python programming community. The giveaway is to help show off the potential of Python on hardware. The team will also be running a Circuit Python sprint to work on libraries and core code. You can learn more about the event at us.pycon.org. Now for a quick look at more projects from the Adafruit team. The Ruiz brothers have a handful of new Steven Universe themed projects. Two of my favorites are Rose's Shield and Obsidian Sword, both of which use foam board, NeoPixels, batteries, and a Circuit Playground Express board. They're both great projects for beginners and are coded with Microsoft Make Code blocks. Dana Wall shows how to make a robotic xylophone using an Adafruit Grand Central board, a Proto Shield, some MOSFETs and diodes, and a handful of solenoids to knock into the keys. The project reminds me of Colin Cunningham's robotic drum machine project, but with more solenoids to put to work. On the downside, the project doesn't use MIDI, so you have to code in the music sequence. It still looks like a lot of fun. John Park has another Blue Fruit project you have to check out. This one is a remote controlled rover that uses the same feather and cricket board combo as the light switcher, but puts it on an aluminum robot chassis. For a little extra flair, there's a NeoPixel ring on the bottom for some remote controlled ground effects. Speaking of NeoPixels, Aaron St. Blaine has a guide on how to make these animated LED glowing star spats. The project uses a small Gemma M0 board and takes advantage of dot strand NeoPixels that have little plastic hooks built into them that can be sewn into your clothing. And while spats might not be something you find yourself in too often, it's pretty easy to see how you could adapt this project for sleeves or a tie or a scarf. Get creative. Another project you can adapt for unlimited uses is this guide for faux neon bike lights by Amelia T. The project uses Adafruit's flexible silicone neon LED strip, which I can personally vouch for being awesome stuff. Its only downside is that it requires 12 volts. So to make it portable, Amelia connects it up to an 8AA battery pack with an on off switch. And because there's no soldering involved, it's a great project for beginners with an awesome payoff. And one last project from outside the Adafruit team, Bud Bennett has a guide on Hackaday that shows his progress designing an obstacle detection system for his dog Lucy, who has trouble seeing in low light. He's using an Adafruit M0 Express board and a small time of flight distance sensor to help detect nearby walls or obstacles. Bud is using CircuitPython to code everything and it's a work in progress, so if you think you can help him out with the code or hardware or an enclosure design, go check out his project page. All right, now for a few tools and tips. Starting with tools, the hot new product on Adafruit right now is the Pi Portal. It's a 3.2 inch touchscreen and a project board all in one package, priced at $54.95. It has an ESP32 built in for handling Wi-Fi, and there's a temperature sensor, a built-in speaker, light sensor, a NeoPixel, micro SD card slot, 
eight megabytes of built-in flash, an I2C connector, two multi-purpose I.O. ports that can work as digital or analog, and a micro USB port. Katni Rembor has a full overview of the board and all the specs over on Adafruit. The basic idea is this thing is a ready-to-go IoT widget. It can pull down stats, show you the weather, work as a digital photo frame. It was also made to be easily adapted into a conference badge with loops on the corners that you can latch into. The project support is just rolling out, but already John Park has an Adafruit quotebook project and a handful of internet stat trophies. Also, Brent Rubel shows how to use one as an IoT data logger, logging the light and temperature values from its built-in sensors as an example. And for this week's tips, be sure to check out the Raspberry Pi Zero stand design made by the Ruiz brothers. It's been getting a lot of love and a lot of remixes. John Thurman ported the Grains of Sand demo to work on the Adafruit Neo Trellis M4. Now, not only will the lights flow back and forth based on how you're tilting it, but the LEDs will also change colors based on tapping it or button presses. And if you plug in headphones, you'll hear water droplets as they move back and forth. Mike Barella posted some CircuitPython code for the Circuit Playground Express board that allows you to measure your heartbeat. By placing your finger over the light sensor and flashing the nearest NeoPixel, the board can get a rough idea of how much blood is pulsing through your finger at each interval. You can then plot that pulse rate to the Mu Editor plotter on your computer. Mike also has a tip on how to use one microbit board to control another using the built-in Bluetooth LE radios. For his demo, he shows how pressing the A and B buttons on one board controls the position of a connected servo on another or lights up a NeoPixel strip. It's a cool trick that you could really weave into any microbit project. All right, and that does it for this week's Maker Update. Be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, or leave a comment. I appreciated everyone's encouraging and supportive comments from the last Adafruit Maker Update. That felt really nice. And I encourage everyone to get on the Maker Update email newsletter as of this week. It looks 100% better on mobile, which I suspect makes it 100% more useful to you. So thanks for watching. I'm going to be gone next week, but I'll be back soon.